guys and uh, the video is for troubleshooting my subdomain issues and the problem is uh, two days ago two days ago i i created uh, my subdomain uh, for a new project for a new project and uh, but uh, it then redirect it then redirect to the right pages uh, it seems uh, the subdomain is not create successfully success and now I want to troubleshooting what's the issue because uh, it, it's not normal and uh, it's it's headache so the reason why is uh, the domain is not registered in my in my hosting in the server uh, the domain is not in the hostgator account and then the domain CD Motors is a new, is another WordPress site, but it's not hosting in the host getter. Here is the host getter, is in that account. So when you create a new subdomain, you cannot use the CD Motors to create. You need to use another one. For example, if that one is not working, yeah, because because that domain is not in the host gator account let's try that one i think it's not working too because the motor is, is not in here it's not in the domains when we go to domains here uh domains add domains here is all the domains i have in the host gator control panel. The daily motor is not there. So you cannot create subdomain for the for the testing. So what I did, uh what yeah, let me show you the subdomain I created. And then what's the result? Subdomain, let's go to the subdomains. My new website called Ho called Hotel Hotel. That's the new domain I created. And when we, when we go to the browser to see, it's showing the site cannot be reached. That means the domain, the subdomain is never created successfully. So so this one really headache and then I don't know why. Now I get a solution. What I use, I actually, I cannot use the CD motors to create subdomain. I'm going to remove it. Yes. I just delay the subdomains because it's, it's not useful. It's not useful. Okay. Um, I create another domain. I'm using, I am using, this one is awesome. This one, I create test CD motors. It's not working. And uh, because I'm using CD motors, so I need to use, actually I need to use another domains. What I'm using, I'm using alert, I'm using that domain, alertlhk.com, that domain, is is working so it's showing uh two hours ago is showing uh for for zero four pages now it's showing my my PRP mm, it's showing my uh, my pages what I want to show it to show so really happy about that it's working so I can I can uh I can upload the files I want to uh, to the to the to that folder so let me get a folder's name so when you go to the files uh, you go to the file manager here a subdomains folder is created uh, I think is hotel okay here hotel 
tab folder. This one that's my that's my PHP, right? I just like upload a file index PHP to see my subdomain is create successfully. Oh, I, I can change actually. I can change it. I can edit it. I can change. And change it, you know. That's one. That's one you know. That's one you know. Now we go to the browser. You change it. Now that's change the message. So our subdomain is created successfully. Let me create another one. Let me create another subdomain. So ooh, the full procedure. Okay, subdomain, you go to subdomains and then create test for fun. That's my subdomain's name. And then click the domains you want to create a subdomain. Now this time I want to I want to create, I want using the alert ARHK. I want to use that domain for the subdomain. So it will automatically have the, the host scatter will automatically have the folder's name there. Just remember the domain, copy and create it. So it will create it. In about an hour, in about an hour, now uh, it's officially it should be less than 24 hours. Now it's less than fun. You see, uh, ZD motors. I'm not going to use ZD motor, so I'm using that one, right? Test for fun. Test for fun. Using that, it will give you the four zero four page not found because it is working. So it's pointing to HostGator, and HostGator have the prog progression time to know the name servers, to know the subdomains. Uh, folders it's taking time for the internet to run, for servers to to get the record. So just for that, and then you just upload, and then you upload some files or write um, up, uh, upload your files to 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 that folders to the folders. Let me let me create new folders. File manager. Test for fun. Not for that. Not this. Test for fun. ZD. I have my test for fun. Yeah. Actually, I don't want that. I don't. Test for fun and uh, okay. Next. Yeah, that name is I want. Okay, that's the folder I'm looking for. Let me refresh the page. Yeah, test for fun, alert HK. You see, it's empty. It's empty, still empty. Reload it, reload it, reload it. It's empty. Now you can upload a file. You can upload your files to there. I upload my index PHP file there. So yeah, I got my index PHP. 
I should have the CGI bin to that folder because I rename it. I rename it. It seems not good to rename when you create it. But it doesn't matter. Uh, let me see. Okay. Let's turn it back. Okay. Just change it. Yeah, here I'm going to upload my file. Oh, that's in the in the propagation town. That's in the propagation town. Fresh. I should get my here if I click that. I should get my index PHP. So in about two hours, uh, the propagation time will be will be gone. So you can see now. You can see now we have our hotel. We have our uh, subdomain created. Created. So let's call that end. Let's call that end. And uh, let me delay the domain I just created. Test for fun. Re remove that. Remove it. So I'm going to develop my new website by using the by using that one test I call. What I call I call hotel. A a hotel alert. By using that one, let me see that one. Yeah, welcome, welcome. I'm going to upload my files, all my files to that, to that. So let me do that. Do that. Give me a second. Uh, I need uh, posting the. Okay, that's my test editor. And uh, hmm. yeah, let me get one website is running well using Joomla and then duplicate the website and uh, just change, duplicate that website. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I want to duplicate some website. Uh, my local. In the local, what I have. Okay, yeah. That's my website. I want to duplicate it. Okay. And that's. The website is working properly. It's working, all the files are there. And then we just need to upload the files to the folder I just created. Here. Delay the file. And uh, that's the folder. That's the folder I want to upload. That's the files which I want to, which I want to upload. Just upload. Uh, place. Now it's uploading the files to the another folders. Actually, now we are creating website.
Okay. By the way, uh, here I'm using coder, uh, which is really nice, really nice uh, test editor. I really fully love that. Here's a uh, here. You can see all those uh, servers I have. Uh, I have different servers, uh, and um, yeah, I'm now I'm using HostGator, HostGator sites. That's my FICAL, That's my DigitalOcean. That DigitalOcean, yeah, that's you know that's really cool, you know. So now uh, I'm in that. I'm in HostGator site. Here you can see you can browse you can browse all your all your sites there. Here, that's different website. Actually, taking a while. It's taking a while. So now I just want to stop the video, and uh, in next video uh, we are going to create we are going to change update the new content for the new website. Uh, thank you for watching and take break and continue with my another videos. Uh, thank you for watching. See you next time.